bromide control products. This information is for educational purposes only and that when we mention a product we're not necessarily endorsing it or endorsing another product. But it's epidemiological so it's not experimental, it's not conclusive and it's not meant to suggest causation. It's merely meant to help you see the relative success of beekeepers who used a product or who didn't use a product. So varroa mites. Varroa mites clearly are enemy number one to beekeepers. But it's not only the varroa mites that are a problem, it's also the virus complex associated with the varroa mites. These, it's not only the direct feeding of varroa mites on bees that cause a problem, but also the viruses that the varroa mites transmit. So one of the questions in our survey was, did you use a host of known varroa mite control products? When we asked this, what we found was that 30, only 39% of beekeepers actually used a known varroa mite control product in their hive. Now, these, the, that, the rest, that 61% who did not use a known varroa mite control product, could have been using other products. For instance, they could have been using uh, integrated pest management tool like drone brood removal or used an, an, a non-registered herbal medicine herbal medicine for control of varroa mites and we'll talk about those later on. And those people who did not use a known varroa mite control product lost significantly more colonies than those who did use a known varroa mite control product. Beekeepers who did not use a known varroa mite control product lost 20 percent more colonies so let's look at the specific products available that were considered known for all mite control products. There are two products, Apigard and Apolifar, whose active ingredient is thymol, which is, a plant, is an essential oil made from plants. What you can see in this graph are three bars. The yellow bar represents the beekeepers who used no product, known varroa mite control product at all. The maroon bar is someone who used another known varroa mite control product, and the blue bar is someone who used that particular product. So here we can see people who used Apigard, which is basically a, a gel that contains the essential oil, that those people lost fewer colonies than those who used another known varroa mite control product, or nothing at all. The same was true for Apolife Var, which is basically a wafer that has essential oils impregnated into it. Cumophos and fluvalfos and fluvalinate are synthetic miticides. We know that there are mites resistant to this product across the country, which may explain why people who did report using these products did not lose fewer or more colonies than those who use another known varroa mite control product or did not use any varroa mite control product at all. Formic acid is an active ingredient in many products that were on the market last year. We can see that people who reported using formic acid lost fewer colonies than those who did not report using any varroa mite control product at all. Sucreside is a sugar that acts like a detergent and is sprayed on adult bees. If we look at the people who use sucreside, you can see that there are very few people did use the product and that explains the large confidence intervals which overlap with people who use nothing at all so we can't say that the product were that the people who used that product had better survivorship than those who did not use the product. So let's transition now. One of the other options when the, the survey was asked was did you use another product to control disease in your colonies? And a lot of people reported using another herbal product to control varroa mite. This includes cinnamon, garlic, um, wintergreen, a whole host of different products. And while quite a few people did report using these products, relatively few, not enough used one single identified product to pull that product out, of the, uh, out for analysis on its own. What you can see is that that accounts for the large confidence interval. And so basically there weren't differences between those who who used a, or reported using some herbal product and those who did not. Powdered sugar, you can see here that we saw no evidence of increased survivorship between people who used this product and did not use this product. However, again, we did not capture the information about how frequently they used this product, which would be an important factor 
um, in its efficacy. Drone brood removal is uh, an, uh, a part of an integrated pest management plan for varroa mites. It basically works because we know that within the drone brood capping, mites move, and so the, that, that they prefer to reproduce in the drone brood capping. So if you remove that drone brood with the associated mites and kill it, it's a way of removing varroa mites from your colonies. Again, however, even though experimentally this has been shown to work, we have, for control of varroa mite, we did not see a difference in average overwintering survivorship between people who used this technique and those that did not use this technique. That's not to say that this technique didn't work. Screen bottom boards, again, this is a technique that was developed to help control varroa mite. Basically a screen at the bottom board so mites can fall through um, the colony and don't land on the bottom board where they can jump back on the bees, but rather just pass right through. Quite a few beekeepers, 82% of beekeepers use this technique, so a lot of beekeepers are using this technique. And you can see, however, that they did not see a significant difference um, between those who did use it and those who did not use it. Again, though, with a bigger data set, perhaps we would get better definition and see a difference. Some people argue that this difference may be especially because of regional differences. You can see um, there was no difference when we broke it down regionally. But again, perhaps with more data, we would see this difference. So that concludes um, our second vlog, which is Varroa Mite Control Survey Response. You can see all the specific reports and more that are concerned with Varroa Mite at the website, and I encourage you to browse we those. Of course, encourage you to get you and all your beekeeper friends to sign up and participate in this and future surveys.